my friends. <laughs> ah, thanks for stopping by. I'm Jaina and this is Stripes and Twine. I am a part-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark mostly. And then I kind of do a little bit of reselling on Mercari, Etsy, and then other local marketplaces. But today I wanted to just sit down and share with you guys some of my favorite reseller tools that I use as a part-time reseller. So the first part of this, I'm just gonna kind of go into like a few of the necessities that you might need to sell on Poshmark or eBay. Mostly I'm gonna talk about Poshmark. And then towards the end of the video, I'm gonna kind of like add in just, you know, a couple more things here and there that you could pick up. None of these are like, you know, crazy high expensive, you know, light boxes or anything like that. But I just wanted to kind of share with you guys, if you are starting out on Poshmark or you are starting out reselling, just some of the tools that you might need. If you hear my cat in the background, it kind of sounds like a child. It's not. It's my cat. So first off, if you are going to um, start reselling, you will need a phone. Um, I had used my iPhone 6 for a really long time, uh, or an Android, anything that just can easily take pictures. You don't have to have a fancy camera, anything like that. But the first thing you need is just a phone and then the Poshmark app, uh, mostly just to take pictures. The next thing that you need are, once you make a sale, you need to be able to ship it. The easiest way to ship something is to go to your local USPS and just pick up some, this is a padded flat rate envelope. This is probably one of my favorite things to use for Poshmark items. You can kind of stuff, you know, a lot of different items in here. I've used this for shoes. I've used this for shirts, some lighter sweaters. Jeans fit really nice in this. Um, the other one are these Tyvek. And this is the Tyvek mailing envelope. These are really great too. These are probably the two that I use the most. And like I said, you can swing by your local USPS. You can pick these up. The other great thing about Poshmark is that you can also order these online um, through, not Poshmark, but through the USPS website. Free shipping supplies make selling on Poshmark really, really easy. It makes taking off on Poshmark really easy. It means that you don't have to go out and spend a ton of money on like cute poly mailers and, you know, extra boxes, things like that. Anything that is priority mail, the red envelopes you can use, not the blue. Those are express. You cannot use express for priority packages. So go to your local USPS or order them online. Makes it really convenient. So that is item number two. Item number three is if you do have boxes lying around your house, you could absolutely use those. You know, put the items in, package it up. You'll need clear packing tape. Those are kind of like the basic tools that if you want to start reselling on Poshmark, that's what you need. So now to kind of go into what are some of the extras that are great to have on hand when you start becoming a more seasoned reseller? What are some great tools that you want to keep around on your desk? You want to have, you know, close to you. You want to be able to take with you to the thrift store. That's what I'm going to go into now. So the next thing you'll need, in my opinion, <laughs> is a Scotty peeler. That's what this is. So no one loves peeling off the little stickers on the bottom of shoes. You can't ever get the whole sticker off. It gets really frustrating. Order yourself some Scotty peelers. I think I got these in a pack, maybe three of them for like $8 on Amazon. I kind of have them a few different places around the house and you can pick them up at Walmart as well. These are just really great to have on hand. They kind of just slide right up under those stickers and make life a lot easier as a reseller. 
The next thing is a sweater shaver. So this isn't some fancy high tech. This is just a battery operated. It's got some fuzz in there. Sorry, you guys, <laughs> but then you can see how well it works. Okay. So this one has a few different settings. It's just a battery operated, nothing special about it. Um, I think I got this on Amazon. It was probably $12 or so. And this has worked really great. It's got a few different settings. Yeah. This one is called Buterol. And like I said, I just pick this up on Amazon. It's got just different settings. This is really nice for just items that have a lot of pilling. I wouldn't take this to like a whole entire sweater. I mean, if you have the time for it, then by all means, I don't personally like to pick up sweaters that are covered in, you know, any kind of pilling. But for instance, if it just has some under the armpits, this is really nice. It can get all up under there. This is really great for workout pants. I've used this plenty of times on Lululemon. I think their wonder unders can get kind of pilly and this just will take that right off. And then those, you know, leggings that probably would have sold for like $20, you can now sell them for 40 because they look good as new. So love this. This is a great tool. The next item that I think should be in your little reseller toolbox arsenal is a lint roller. This one I did pick up from Ikea. They've got lots of uh, lint rollers there. The attachments are pretty inexpensive and believe it or not, you'll go through a lot of these. It's great to have ones that just have the replaceable lint roller head piece contraption <laughs> because you'll go through these a lot. So that's the next tool. Uh, after that would be a Tide Stick. The reason I like Tide Sticks is I like to throw these in my purse, take them with me when I go to the thrift store or a garage sale or whatever. And if there's a little stain on something, I can quickly test this to see if it's something that could come out. If it's too stubborn for a Tide Stick, I usually leave it behind. I don't mind putting in a little bit of time into an item. I don't want to spend a whole hour working on an item because to me, it's just not worth it. It doesn't have to be a tight stick. I know there are other brands, but I just personally have this one. Like I said, I like to keep it in my purse. Another item, and this has become kind of like a, everybody who is a reseller knows about this item and there's a reason. And it's because it works. It's really great. And it is the Dr. Martin's Wonder Balsam. This stuff really does work. Is it going to make a 50 year old pair of shoes look brand new? No, but it will liven them up. It'll give them some life. Sometimes just a little bit of leather conditioner, which is what this is, can work such wonders on, Wonder Balsam, ha <laughs> ha. Sorry guys. It can work, just a little bit of leather conditioner can work such wonders on like just tired leather, leather shoes, leather bags. I really like this one. This is more of like a quick use, you know, product. It's got the sponge applicator. It's got the actual balsam in there. And yeah, this is great for shoes, purses. It's kind of more, I use it more for something that just needs a little bit of life put back into it. Moving on from that, I also have on hand a leather cleaner and leather conditioner. This one I picked up on Amazon. It's by Chemical Guys. These are great. So this is the cleaner and this is the conditioner. And I have had these for well over a year and I've probably only gone about halfway through. Now the conditioner, I think I've only hit maybe a third of it, a quarter of it. This stuff is great. I like to use this for items that need a little bit more work, a little bit more conditioning, a deeper clean. That Wonder Balsam isn't going to like take a lot of stains out, but this can on some leathers, some items, you know, if it's been run over by a truck, it's probably not going to help a whole lot, but it'll work for things like, you know, leather bags, leather purses. So this is my next go-to tool. Moving from Poshmark on to just maybe a couple of things you might want for eBay, because you can't use all priority mail 
shipping supplies for eBay. You do have to have your own. You can use priority boxes if you are going to ship something priority mail. If you're going to ship something first class, I would highly recommend then that you use poly mailers in that instance. A few different sizes. These are the ones I like that I use a lot. This is a nine by six. It's pretty small, if you can imagine. It's not very big. This is great for things like swimsuits, t-shirts, uh, any other little small items this works perfect for. I love these. I sometimes cross over and use these in my Poshmark store. The next size poly mailer that I really like to use is the 10 by 13 and a half. This one is great for jeans. I do find these on Amazon. You don't have to pay a ton for these. You can buy them in bulk. You don't have to get bright, fancy colors. It just so happened that the last set was one of the cheapest that I could find. These I think were something like $12 for a hundred. And so those work great for eBay. And then if you do end up having an eBay store, you do get a credit. That's a whole other video, but I do have eBay poly mailers and these are pretty great too. These are really nice for, you know, bulkier items, some lighter sweaters. These aren't going to fit a big giant sweater, but that's what I like these for. So those are just some of the items that I would recommend for a reseller. If you are more established then maybe later on down the road, um, some items that would be nice are a mannequin, a steamer, a uh, box light. Some people use ring lights. I personally have umbrella lights, but to be honest, you don't always need them. I would go back and say the main things that you need, again, are just a phone that can take pictures, the Poshmark app, priority mail shipping supplies from the USPS, and natural light. So thanks for hanging out with me. I hope that some of these uh, tools will come in handy for you in your reselling career, business, side gig, side hustle, whatever you want to call it. And thanks for sticking around. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and say hi down in the comments. Tell me what your favorite tool is for reselling. Did I miss something? Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.